So this is the flute that is one of the oldest instruments known to, the, to mankind, and it has a very, very simple construction. It is basically a tube with holes in it. A head joint, this separate part here, that comes off and produces the sound by the air going across a hole and setting the air column into vibration. This is just a tube. The whole essence of, of our breath, the breath of man, woman, coming into a tube to give it life, an inanimate object such as this that can have such vibrancy um, from some of the most uh, magnificent works which feature the flute that conjures up images of uh, primeval times the most famous, the Debussy Afternoon of a Fawn, which also is capturing the Greek mythological idea of Pan uh, with his Pan pipes. If you think about that air that's traveling over those pipes. I asked Carol when I began to work on this piece, given that the piece was called Sunrise, that obviously it, it begins in the dark, you, you know, uh, before the sunrise. So I asked her if she would start the piece on the alto flute. <laughs> And then at some point during the music to change to the flute uh, and which she said yes and she plays not only the flute very beautifully but also the alto flute so the piece begins very mysteriously And in fact, I asked the, the harpist, Nancy Allen, um, that I wanted some kind of magical harp sounds to set off the alto flute. And we came up with a very interesting glissando, um, which was be not played in the normal way, you know, with the thumb on the strings going up or down, but with the flats of the hands or the backs of the hands. So it starts 
mousy quiet, and then the alto flute comes in, and I wanted that magical sound for the opening. 